Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Tutorial. This one is on fluid color. These uh, nice looking fluid lines that you can do in Illustrator. Gone for the obvious colors, yellow and blue, to support Ukraine. Hope everyone else is. First off, the artboard is 1920 by 1080 pixels wide and it's set to RGB for this one. If you want to go ahead and press pause and add these colors to your uh, swatches. Um, also, if you want to copy my windows, anything with a tick um, and the view with smart guides and snap to point. So you can set it up like this and it just, that's my workflow over the last 20 years. It's helped me out. So add those colors and we can get cracking. So on a new artboard, the first thing we're going to do is draw a line. So we're going to select the line tool and draw a little line about 100 pixels long. And we're going to click the stroke color. And what we want to do is apply a gradient to this stroke. Now, I've already got a turquoisey sort of brief set one in, but yours, yours will look like this, black, white. So that's probably what your preset will look like. We need to give it a stroke weight of five pixels and we need to hit the round cap, which is just underneath the weight. So once we've got that, we can go back to the uh, gradient and we're gonna apply a gradient of these four colors. Um, I've put them in the order we're gonna add them, so I'm just literally gonna drag mine onto the gradient, yellow there, the lighter red there, darker red next to it, and the blue on the right. These two in the middle want to be around 50%. There. So it's going to be quite a, if I zoom in, you can see it's quite a harsh color stop in the middle. So with this selected, the next thing we're going to do is to apply a zigzag. We're going to go up to effects, distort, transform, zigzag, and we want it to be the size three, absolute, uh, rigid per segment four, and smooth. Click OK. Now with it still selected, we're going to go back up to transform and go to transform and in here we just want to change the angle to 30 and the copies to 5 and you should have something like that zoom out a bit once we've got that we're going to duplicate it we're just going to press v and option click and drag over this side so then let's make this one bigger i'm just going to select a and select this one anchor point and drag it out holding shift to about a thousand pixels there we go about there now you can see what's happened the zigzags have sort of almost disappeared so in our appearances panel again if you can't see it just copy my windows we're going to hit the zigzag effect and change that three to a 50 click ok now blend tool it's this icon here double click the blend tool and you want two pixels specify distance click ok with V, you're going to drag over the two shapes. You're going to click the blend tool. You're going to click the small one first, and then the big one, and then it's made our blend. Now, that's great. We're just going to move it out of the way. And what we need to do now is make what's called a spine, which is this curve. So using the curvature tool, click the curvature tool and start drawing some sort of nice curve. This takes a bit of playing around with, um, but let's just start with this one. With V, select these both and go up to Object, uh, Blend and Replace Spine. Um, and that basically is it. Once you're in here, you can select the anchor points and you can move these round to make things look a bit better you can drag the shapes out to make the corners a bit smoother um, you can move this over you can also make it smaller like this sort of fills the page a bit too much so with the direct select tool a you can select that line that you originally drew and just bring it down a bit um, you can also move the angle so if you if you move this it's going to twist these colors in a slightly different way can you see how the blue's on top and the yellow's on, on the bottom? If I switch it up here, you'll see it'll twist it round. So lots of playing around to do with. To finish off the effect, we're just gonna use the rectangle tool 
and draw a rectangle over here. It's filled with a stroke, so we can just get rid of the stroke. And let's apply a gradient. It's applied our preset, so we'll just drag these two colors out the middle. And we want our light teal and slightly darker blue. And click gradient and drag it from top to bottom. Now you want to send this to the back, which is Command Shift Left Square Bracket. Um, select that background again, Apple C, Apple Shift V, which is paste, copy, and paste in place. And then you can select that one. Hold shift, select this one and press command seven, which crops it to the square. So that is how to make a fluid color blend shape. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.